What kind of pandemic would it be most likely that we would see in our lifetime were we to experience one? I think uh, most in the public health community are particularly concerned about the possibility of an influenza pandemic sometime in the future. But there are other diseases that could spread from person to person by cough uh, that are also concerning, uh, not just for uh, the global community, but certainly including the, the community in this, in this network, the business community. Exactly. Now, obviously, everybody is terrified of a pandemic when we see a movie about a pandemic or, you know, when it, it comes to mind. But there haven't been that many attacks. Is that because they're being warded off or, or how, how come we haven't seen more of them? Well, I think in the last 10 years, we have seen a variety of, of infectious disease threats emerge from nature unexpectedly. We've seen the pandemic of flu that came out in 2009. Uh, we've seen the Zika virus. We've seen much bigger Ebola outbreaks than we've ever seen before in history in Africa. And one of the things that's changing is that uh, the world is very connected by air, so things can move quickly around the world. And the climate is changing, so that's changing the way that infectious diseases work. There are you know, larger and larger megacities with sanitation systems that are weak and people are living closer in closer proximity with animals and we're encroaching on the animal environment in ways that haven't happened before in history on large scale so these things are making epidemics and pandemics more likely so doctor what has the medical community and the emergency community more broadly learned from the likes of the ebola outbreak or that flu pandemic that you mentioned have we got better at being prepared we are getting better in many ways, uh, but one of the things that we haven't done as well is to engage global business leaders and, and uh, global organizations uh, that run many of the world's systems to help us prepare for epidemics and pandemics and help us think about responding to them. So while we have stronger healthcare systems than we did in many parts of the world, we still don't have the logistical capability to move things around in emergencies in the way we need them. We don't have the financial planning that we need for major pandemics or epidemics where we could anticipate liquidity problems or um, the collapse of organizations that are really important to the financial system or to, uh, to keeping uh, trade and travel systems running in the world. We had an, an event in New York City about two months ago, which brought together business leaders from different parts of the world with, for example, UPS and NBC and Lufthansa and Edelman Communications as an example of some of the organizations. And what we learned from that is that while businesses are very keen on trying to help, uh, these are unfamiliar problems and they're going to require a lot of work between yes. business and countries.